millions of years ago, a giant asteroid crashed into Earth, leading to the extinction of dinosaurs. Scientists now have advanced technology that has helped them create a detailed timeline of this catastrophic event. They have even uncovered clues about where the asteroid came from. Could another massive space rock hit Earth in the future, and would we survive it? NASA's latest findings may shock you. Let's dive into the disaster that nearly wiped out life on Earth. Around 65 million years ago, a massive asteroid struck shallow waters in the Gulf of Mexico. This event triggered a series of catastrophic events, rocks rained down from the sky, wildfires raged, and tsunamis devastated distant coasts. Researchers used high-tech tools, including imaging and magnetic measurements, to study sedimentary rock from Chicxulub, one of the largest impact craters on Earth. Here's what they discovered. Imagine standing in North America 65 million years ago when dinosaurs roamed the planet. If you looked at the night sky, you might notice what seemed like a bright star. Over a couple of hours, this light would grow brighter, revealing itself as a colossal asteroid, 11 to 80 kilometers wide, speeding toward Earth at 72,420 kilometers per hour, 45,000 miles per hour. As the asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere, it moved so fast that the air acted like water. Smaller meteors usually burn up in the atmosphere, but this enormous space rock tore through the 60 miles of atmosphere in just three seconds. It created a deafening sonic boom that could be heard across continents. Dinosaurs likely panicked, unaware of the disaster about to unfold. When the asteroid hit the Yucatan Peninsula, it caused unimaginable destruction. The impact was so powerful that it vaporized much of the shallow sea before even touching the ground. Within milliseconds, the asteroid slammed into the bedrock, creating a chain reaction. The pressure was so intense that the Earth's surface flowed like liquid. The impact caused a massive splash of debris, throwing material 32 kilometers, 20 miles, into the sky. The initial crater nearly reached Earth's mantle. As the ground rebounded, a peak taller than Mount Everest formed within minutes before collapsing into smaller mounds. This left behind the crater's peak ring, visible in Chicxulub today. The asteroid's energy release was unimaginable, equivalent to over a billion Hiroshima atomic bombs. This energy instantly converted soil, rock, and air into intense heat, far hotter than the surface of the sun. A fireball of plasma and vaporized rock exploded outward at hypersonic speeds, creating a massive blast wave that expanded at 1,600 km per hour, 1,000 miles per hour. If such an asteroid hit today, it would vaporize everything in Texas, deafen people in New York, and shatter windows as far away as Buenos Aires. The collision caused Earth to shake like a bell. Shockwaves traveled through the planet's crust at 4 km per second, 2.5 miles per second, triggering massive earthquakes worldwide. Even people on the opposite side of the planet would have felt the ground tremble 30 minutes after impact. When the asteroid struck Earth, it triggered massive tsunamis as high as skyscrapers. The first waves hit the Gulf Coast within an hour, with heights ranging from 600 to 1,000 feet. These waves smashed into what is now Mexico and the southern United States, flooding areas tens of miles inland. Rivers reversed their flow temporarily, and water rushed upriver like giant tidal waves. Tsunamis also struck the eastern United States, and six hours later, 600-foot waves slammed into Europe, Africa, and the Mediterranean coasts. Within 15 hours, every coastline on Earth was impacted. These giant waves swept away everything in their path, pulling debris back into the ocean when the waters receded. This destruction alone was catastrophic, but the worst was yet to come. When the asteroid hit, it launched 25 trillion tons of debris into the air. Some of this material flew so fast that it escaped Earth's gravity, entering orbit around the Sun or even reaching the Moon. However, most of the debris fell back to Earth within an hour. These pieces, known as tektites, ranged in size from marbles to buses and rained down at deadly speeds of 160 to 320 km per hour, 100 to 200 miles per hour. Regardless of where dinosaurs were on Earth, they were struck by this fiery hailstorm. Even worse, the heat generated by the falling tektites was enough to ignite massive fires across the planet. The intense heat made Earth feel like an oven, destroying most of the world's forests. 
This explains why only ground-nesting bird species survived, while most larger animals perished. The few animals that survived could burrow underground, like small mammals, snakes, and lizards, or escape into water, like crocodiles and turtles. To make matters worse, the asteroid hit an area rich in oil and sulfur, ejecting 100 billion tons of vaporized sulfur and 30,000 quadrillion gallons of water into the atmosphere. This caused acid rain that made the oceans highly acidic. Snowstorms in higher latitudes dropped tens of feet of snow per day, but these storms didn't last long. The asteroid also vaporized massive amounts of oil, which formed a sooty layer in the stratosphere. This black layer blocked sunlight, reducing it by 90% for two to three years. After the initial heat, the planet experienced a long, deep freeze. Global temperatures dropped by nearly 50 degrees, turning most of the Earth into a frozen desert. Only tropical islands like Madagascar, India, and Indonesia remained warm and wet. Evaporation nearly stopped, and rainfall decreased by 80%, leaving most of the planet dry and barren. Scientists believe the asteroid came from the Oort Cloud, a distant region at the edge of the solar system filled with icy debris. A larger comet might have been knocked off course by Jupiter's gravity, bringing it closer to the Sun, where it broke into pieces. These fragments occasionally cross Earth's orbit, and one could hit us again in the future. Studies suggest such impacts happen every 250 to 730 million years. In December 2021, NASA reported that a 330-meter asteroid named 4660 Nereus passed Earth at a distance of 3.8 million kilometers, 2.4 million miles. While this might seem far, even a slight change in its orbit could put it on a collision course with Earth in the future. Scientists are monitoring it, as it will come within 1.1 million kilometers, 745,000 miles, on February 14, 2060. The Chelyabinsk meteor that exploded over Russia in 2013 was just 20 meters wide, yet it caused significant damage. Unfortunately, we currently don't have a reliable way to stop a large asteroid. NASA's DART mission, Double Asteroid Redirection Test, is testing whether a spacecraft can collide with an asteroid to change its course. In September 2022, DART targeted Dimorphos, a small asteroid moonlet orbiting a larger asteroid called Didymos. The goal was to slightly alter Dimorphos' speed. However, deflecting a massive asteroid traveling at 72,000 km per second would require much more force, possibly even nuclear weapons, as seen in movies like Armageddon. Do you have ideas for stopping a world-ending asteroid? Share your thoughts, and stay tuned for more updates about our universe. Thank you for watching, and congratulations to our channel for reaching over a million subscribers. We are thrilled to make videos for you. Thank you for your support.